Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. My name is Adair, and last episode, we took down another Great Soul. Or at least we took down the spider and then found the Great Soul. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm sure it's a very happy story, which then involved the pet killing the master. Totally not that. This episode, we're going to have to strike out in a new path. I am going to... I think the best route will probably go back to the starting area. The starter area had a statue, the very first petrified person blocking the way. And honestly, I'm just too curious. I got to know what was back there. So, that's the path we're going to strike out on now. Ah, it's been a while since we've come back here. Old hags. Still Do you wish to You must go well I but if you Oh, this is where I can reallocate my points. Not that I feel I need to do that right now. Right. I can go, I think I've explored everywhere here except for that area. Oh ho ho! I've reached the stat requirements to two dual wheel bleeds. And it's a similar moveset to my other weapon, which is a little disappointing, but eh. Right, let's see what lies this direction. I'm guessing he's going to be aggressive because they always seem to be a No wait, there was that one person who was happy to s that they were all petrified and then try and kill me immediately. Alright then. Let's hope I chose correctly. Judging from everything trying to kill me, maybe not correctly, but I chose a way. Search your surroundings. Oh, you can... Okay. Yeah, that was incredibly difficult and required every ounce of my planning. Come on, just die so I can focus on the archer. Oh, this is a starter area, guy. This is embarrassing. Right, everybody, pretend you saw nothing. Right, let's kill that dude down there. Alright, who's shooting at me? There's an archer there. Estus flask. And another Estus flask shard. That is awesome. I'm starting to feel like I have Estus flasks now. You know, since I'll put me at 8 I think. Alright, let's see what's out here. If I remember correctly, from up there, yep, up there, you were able to see one of the big troll guys underneath. Yeah, there. There he is. Guarding a boat. I'm guessing this is a tree I can knock down. Yeah, it seems so. In which case, let's sneak up in this big guy. I can't backstab him, but I should be able to get at least one blue off on him. Huh. Huh. Okay, let's do this. Did I trigger both? I triggered both. Guy, be quick here. One, two, three, four. One. Ah, oh, these ones really don't have much HP compared to the big ones from there on. And with my new adaptability, I'm able to dodge these things a bit easier. I like being able to dodge things easier. 
That's the pursuer. Hello again. It's been a while since we last fought. I think I'm able to take you. And big. Come on. Two attacks. One, two. It's only doing two. Two. Just two again. One, two, three. One, two. Just two that time. One. What? That? That's different. That's new. That's cheating. Wherever that was, I'm sure that's cheating. I don't want to know what status effect you applied to me, but... Okay. Three. Twinkling Titanite. Haha, <laughs> Pursuer. I have gone better at this game. Or more accurately, I have higher stats. So what is this? That is a coffin. I'm... Huh. My character looks different. And my walk has changed. My character's... My character's gender's changed. So this... Coffin boat thing... Changes my gender? Well... Okay. I don't know why I need to, you know... Kill the Pursuer and two of the big trolls if all it was going to do was change my gender. That feels like something that I should be able to access from the start. Oh. Let's figure out where to go. Do I have any more fragrant branches of yore? I better not have used my last one on the path, which isn't actually a path. I have one. Right, the only place I've explored and now find a great soul has been the Pirate's Cove. Which I really should learn the proper name of, but the Pirate's Cove. Just before there, there was a Oh wait, there was also the dragon on the left route, but let's not talk about the dragon for now. I'm sure the dragon wasn't an anime I have to kill. It's just big and scary. That's nothing like the bosses you normally have to kill in this game. I could have also gone left at the uh, in the lost tires. Ah, there we go. No man's wharf. This is where we want to explore. Hindsight, I probably should spend the souls I have. Sorry. Right. So if we make our way back there, we should be able to. Oh yes! I also have an Estus Flash Shard I really should use. You know if this character didn't have a line every time you brought an Estus Flask Shard near her, I would forget to upgrade so often. Alright, let's see. What do I want? I'm going to increase Vitality. My adaptability is good, my dexterity is good, but my actual equip load, which affects my stamina recovery, that's a bit low. That sword is massive! That sword's ridiculous! Also looks to be in horrible shape, but that's besides the point. No Man's Wharf. This area, I must have missed something in it. This feels like an area there should be a great soul in, but I saw nothing and there was something about saying, Oh, there's a boss ahead, when I didn't find a boss in the area. Like, 
that just looks like a boss area right there. But I saw no way of accessing it. Let's take a quick jog out that direction. Oh, wait, there's a guy here. And dog? Is the dog coming at me? No, the dog's ignoring me. That's good. Okay, that did not break his poise. I hit him, and he hit me back a lot more. You see, this is why you equip that ring which hurts poise more. I think the sign was over there on the left. I shall join you down there. Whoops a daisy. You know I could run to it in case there is a boss lair. Yeah, but running feels like cheating. Like you haven't earned the right to face the boss if you just run straight towards the boss by clearing an area. I have already cleared the area, so yeah, it's not like the enemies that tough or the enemies here are that tough. I can clear out a few on my way there. He should have lit that torch by doing that. Oh yeah, the abominations here are scared of. Hello. Alright, there's my souls. Alright, I'm just going to run by. It's not worth waiting for all of them to get up and I can kill them wherever they decide to actually try and catch up to me. Right, you see there, that sh uh, pirate ship. I should be able to get on that pirate ship. That feels like I should be able to get onto that pirate ship. But I can't. Maybe I need to get the pirate ship to come to me. Keep forgetting that I can't break their poise. <laughs> I remember this area. Right. If that pirate ship is supposed to be a boss, I should be able to explore this area and find a switch or something to get it to move within range of me. So that's what I'll do. After I explore the other path, which requires a fragrant branch of yore. Because... Mm, it's right beside me. It better not be a dead end. Ah, it's always awkward you misjudge the range of your weapon. Okay. You... Out of the way. And give me a second while I grab the... Raw stone. Hollow infantry helm. And you're aggressive. You seem like a big guy. And potentially just a dead end. I feel bad. I didn't really earn that kill. My just my damage was too high. Estus flask shard. Ah, and the door, which doesn't open, and is actually broken. I mean, yeah, I always want more Estus flask shards, but I'd prefer new areas to explore instead. Okay, now nah, mimic. That's good. Night armor, which is too heavy for my build. Huh, okay. 
I guess I shall go back and explore No Man's Wharf because that's the only area which I feel I haven't properly explored. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I might have a quick look through everything after the end of this episode to have a check to see why I have and haven't explored and where I should go just in case. I also should probably go and get my Astus flasks upgraded, but eh, eh, that's traveling and that's too much effort. Let's just go out here and make our way across. And there comes the old arrow. And then left to avoid this one. It is a bit awkward that their arrows seem to home a little. Awesome, use my scimitar. It actually stuns them enough to knock them off. Right, this is a short cost to the boss room, so my only guess is I'm actually supposed to somehow signal from here. Hmm. He won't speak to me, so if he has hints on what I'm supposed to do here, he's not going to be telling them. This feels important. But it doesn't break. And I can't interact with it. There is that there, but it doesn't appear to do anything either. I guess I haven't tried lighting torches, but so far that hasn't proved to be the most useful thing to do. I think I might have to face some of the Eldritch Abominations instead. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Alright, there's one hanging off up here as well, I think. Retrieval. Visions of chest. Hurrah for ruling. I guess it's a cool area and everything, but I feel like it's missing a boss. I haven't killed a single boss in this area. So I must have missed something. Somewhere. And I didn't fully explore all the stuff towards the end because... But bluntly, towards the end, what I was seeing were just these things. So... I'll have a nosy. See if I can find anything. Radiant life gem. That's something. Not what I was looking for, but it's something. What is this? Doesn't appear to be anything useful. Up I go. I'd like to think they were missing an opportunity. Right, that's it, Dad. Life gem. Right, what do I have? This. Oh, throwing knife, flame butterfly. I hear a titanite demon. Attack, ruling, fog wall. Where's the titanite demon I'm hearing? Fragrant branch of yore. I can explore more. Titanite demon must be above me.
And I can't get above me. Let's try going in here. No enemies yet. That means they're up above. Luckily I'm a bit tougher than the last time I was here. Otherwise this entire area would probably just be a nightmare. Hmm. Nothing to gain from here, I think. Nope, just loot there, and I'm not interested in that loot because I must have already got. Oh, the screaming of lamb things. Oh, that's a way to die and slash up. I've already explored here, judging from the looted chest. You know, at this point I think Estus Flasks are just better than life gems. Just the speed at which I can use them. Anyway, I've got dogs out there to deal with now. And anything else? Right, I'm not seeing another path here. But I might have to explore everywhere. Hello there. I think Ben's underneath here. Yeah, this is Ben's spot. I'm going to leave Ben in there where he's nice and safe and kill everything else. He survived? I thought he was dead. Estus Flask. Dead. Right, I've explored this area. I guess up is the only way to go from here. Which means free here. Killing... Oh, I killed the dogs there. I'll go through here again. I remember finding her up here for the first time. Me and Ben and her. Okay, let's have a look. Door doesn't open. You are annoying. I dislike dogs. Okay, let's see, 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 see. The Eldritch Abominations are up above. Okay, to my second weapon. This is the worst thing about two hands. The style really messes with my weapon durability. Especially my right hand weapon. And I should upgrade this here weapon as well. A single style, it's quite good. Is there anything else up here I could be missing? Because that room I remember just being a collection of horrible monsters. I think I might just skip that in my re-exploration. Okay, Sibo. Okay, what's this? Cave. Yes, it's a small 
a, a cave. It's not actually useful. Up and up. Let's see. I'm not having much luck, to be honest. I can't find anything I could have missed here. But whatever I'm missing must be important. It's not down there. It's over here. And this is that room where you have to fight two of them abominations at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the blood loss effect, which I still have to be scared of. Come on, up, 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 up. Not you, you can stay down there until I'm ready to deal with you. Like that. I remember that taking a lot longer last time. Come on, again. Fair. And that's you dealt with. There's one hanging off to the right here. Misfortune ahead. And down you go. Try range battle, then head. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can land on top of here. I don't think I've done that before. Ugh. Oh. So really, have I really explored everything here? I think I have. But... Then, what was the point of this area? Like, there's gotta be a point. Am I just missing something? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn off the recording now, and I will fully explore this area. Make sure I haven't missed anything. I must be missing something somewhere. So, I'll be back. I have found a bell, which is now ringing, which is lit up over there, and is bringing what appears to be a ghost ship directly to me. I think I have found what was I missed. It only took me killing every single enemy in the area again. And I do mean that, every single enemy in the area again. The issue is, my weapon durability just isn't there. I don't have much choice, I just need to go back. So I'm going to finish laying everything up and then I'll go and explore that ship. So, you know, now I think about it, I could go in a bit underprepared. Nah, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. And when I do, we'll be taking on that boss. The one who's been taunting us this entire time. The one aboard the awesome pirate ship. Which I'm going to claim worship after I kill. I feel like that's only fair. Isn't that like the law of pirates? So I'm like killing and all that jazz and it belongs to you. Actually, there might not be a boss on. It could just be a new area. I won't hurt to explore just, you know, a little. And I do have alternate weapons I can use with similar playstyle, but just less damage. Alright, that's one. And there's another one up there. I guess I could go on to... Hey, where'd you come from? Hello, big guy. Equipment-wise, I need to swap out 
Of course I have the exact same weapon again, so I'm just swapping out for my own weapon. Alright. Pirate ship. So much possibilities. Where am I supposed to go? Can I operate it? No. No, I guess I must go underneath. Hmm. I would have expected to get ambushed at this point, to be honest. Ah. That's more like it. I have many souls which will be lost if I die. That just means the stakes are higher, and the stakes being high is what makes this game fun. Let's give myself a little bit more of an age, though. Let's go in at full health. And let's fight this... Flexile Sentry? I've seen you before. I fought you before. I, I admit I cheesed you. I don't expect to encounter you as a boss. The centerpiece is more of a de distraction to me than it is to it. Come on, get closer. Swing at me. Two. And three. That hit me. That music in the background, that is eerie. Come on. Two. Just two this time. Okay then. Victory achieved. Yeah, I fought a few as a warm up act. I'm not looking forward to whatever it is you're guarding. Because wherever you're guarding is likely another great soul. Alright, now Mimic. That's good. But his parrot ship could be trapped. Not trapped. Paramancy Flame and Firebolt. Now, why are you? You're... Ha ha! This is my pirate ship now. <laughs> Let us see where we can go. I knew I missed something in this area. It took me a depressingly long time to find out, but it, I, I found it eventually. Okay then. I wonder what's ahead. Hopefully a bonfire, because I have too many souls. In a good way. And, uh, hmm. This is a very nice area. All the blood spires and stuff. Reassuring wherever I'm in an area I don't want to die. And guys? You're... Yeah. I'm not liking this. I'm equipping too many of my alternate weapons. I've been out in the bite too long. Well, I have to go up, don't I? Which makes a nice change, I gotta be honest. I'm so used to going down. Why why can't I interact with this? It's a lever. Hurrah for destroy. It's a lever, I, I 
it doesn't require anything special, I just need to pull it. Why can't I pull the lever? I can hit it. Oh, because I'm already dying, I'm supposed to go up. Now I just feel silly. Yeah, I'm going up. Aww. Teasing me with loot is just mean. So, blood splatters to my front. None to my right. Let's have a look at the right. Empty cell. Closed cell, but empty. Closed cell, but empty. Open cell. Don't give up. Door ahead. Try attacking. I feel like you're lying. Okay, let's just take this and go on. And uh, nothing here. Oh, wait, isn't... I've been here before, haven't I? Nothing coming up behind me, is there? I didn't check every cell. I'm a bit focused on getting a bonfire. Yeah, I've been to this place before. Different area, but still the same place. Right, guy, be careful. Yep. Okay, when I said be careful, that includes like falling off stuff. I need to listen to my own advice a little bit better than this. And now I am in a pit. Oh no, 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 that's the pursuer. I am not ready to take care of you right now. Come on, open this. I've just killed a boss, I'm not ready to take on you. Come on. That's this flask. This is ridiculous, they're just dogs. About to make me bleed to death. Ah. <sighs> Hello blacksmith, please tell me you have a bonfire. Is that bonfire? Oh thank god. Well, good night everyone. If you happen to enjoy this video, I recommend subscribing because I guarantee there's going to be more. And you won't want to miss them. So, night.